Hey guys, T Max signing in. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today I'm going to be bringing you a thought draft challenge video, something I haven't really done in a while. A lot of you guys have been suggesting it in the comments. A lot of you have been asking me to do more thought draft videos. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing for you guys today. If you want to see more thought draft videos from me on this channel, make sure to drop a like as that would be very much appreciated. And with that said, let's get straight into this. So these are the formations we're being given, and I'm going to be trying to build the fastest possible ever. Foot draft. As you now know, we have the man of the match on Bamayang with 99 pace, as well as Messi with 99 pace as well. So hopefully we can get those players and let's see what we can do here. So the formation I'm probably going to go for here is the 4-3-3 holding, mainly because we have the wingers there. And let's see who we get as our captains. So we have Messi and Ronaldo there, but... They've got team of the year version. So does Neymar. But it seems that the most amount of pace on a player here is 92. So I'm going to go for the Neymar to be safe in the hopes of getting either team of the year Messi or team of the year Ronaldo. I'm going to jump onto the striker straight away and see who we get. Okay. We get. We've got 97 pace Aubameyang. But I want the man of the match one. So I don't think I'm going to go for him right now. Even though I probably should pick him. And we have 92 pace body. Since I have to pick the fastest player on each pick, I'm gonna go for the 97 pace of Bamayang. We'll miss out on the man of the match one, but there's nothing I can really do. He is the fastest there. Onto the right wing position. Who are we gonna get? Okay, we have 91 pace the Maria there. We have some 92 pace dude called Arga. Why is he there? If he wasn't there, we would have got ourselves an orange de Maria. But he's there, so I'm going to have to go for him. Moving on to the first CM position. Let's see what positions we are given here. We have... We have really slow players to be honest. I mean the fastest is Henderson and that's saying something So we're gonna quickly go for him on to the next CM position. Let's see who we have. Oh my days These are some of the slowest non-rare cards I've seen in the game. The highest paced one is Frey So we're gonna have to choose him moving on to the well, I was supposed to go CDM But we've clicked on center back. No one's above 80 pace, which is not the best But you know still pretty decent gonna have to go with Cooley Barley here because he's an in form I don't know what happened there I swear I picked Cooley Barley do you know what let's just forget about PK PK just wants to be where he's not wanted so we're gonna leave him there on to the next centre back let's see who we get here the most or the highest amount of pace is 74 so we're gonna have to go with Reed on to the right back are we gonna get Danny Alves Yes, we are, but he's not in form. He's still the fastest in that selection, so we're going to have to pick him. Left back, who are we giving him? I mean, fastest is Alba. Alba is a pretty fast player. And with that said, I'm quickly going to move on to the CDM because I feel like I'm leaving this position out. And who do we get? We get no one that good, to be honest. I mean, Kryoshiak, I can't say his name. 72 pace, decent. Hutchinson seems to be the fastest with 74 pace. So I'm going to have to go for him. And finally, I'm going to finish off with a goalkeeper. And wow. Oh, wow. We've managed to get ourselves a record breaker, Buffon. So the pace in this instance would be on the diving. Yet Handonovic has a higher diving than him. What the actual heck? I mean, if I was to go for the speed, Handonovic would still win. He's got 55 speed. So we're going to have to go with Handonovic no matter what here. But we could have got ourselves a record breaker booth on. That's actually annoying. Moving on to the bench now. Let's see who we can get ourselves. So we have more keepers. Fastest here would have to be Mandanda with an 87 diving. If I was going off speed, it would still be Mandanda. So we're picking there. Into the next position. Can it give us speed? Oh, I want is speed right now. We got Rybos. Never heard of the guy, but wins that selection. Come on, looking for a team of the year player, please. Who's the fastest here? It looks like Carvin now. No, actually, it's Willems with 83 pace. Next player. I just want the team of the year. We get an orange card in there, but it's not the fastest. Balassi is the fastest. I would definitely take that. It doesn't hurt to have a Balassi in your team. Who are we getting here? I mean, there's no team of the year place to be seen anywhere. Fastest pace player here is Kone. So I'm just going to have to go for him. I have no other choices. Moving on. We have Konoplyanka or Ibarbo. 
I might have to go with Conor Plianka because he's the highest rated player here. So yeah, let's throw him into the team. Onto the next position, we get Silvers. But Vanano is the fastest one. He's in form. He's a beast card. And I would definitely take that in the team. On to my next player. Oh, oh, wow. It's giving us Ronaldo now. But it's not team of the year, Ronaldo, which is annoying. I feel like if I was to miss out on him, I would get team of the year. But he's the fastest, so we have to go with him. Come on, who are we going to get now? Oh, wow. We've got 88 golden. I'm pretty sure he's got some better cards. But the fastest card here looks to be Bellarabi. So I'm going to pick Bellarabi. Nearly finished. We've got three more players here. And uh, the fastest on this selection is Delefeu. I mean, night one pace ain't too bad. Oreo's coming up close, but Delefeu wins that one. Who's coming up next here? I mean, these selections are pretty slow. It's just not what you want in a foot draft, to be honest. We have 85p Florenzi, and well, Florenzi is the winner. I don't think anyone else is faster than him here. So we'll pick Florenzi. And for the last player, we get oh we get a green card i mean that's rare kind of you don't really get many of them on foot draft but the fastest player here is a turbo with 92 pace so let's quickly throw him in here i'm gonna quickly make a few changes to see what i could do to this team how i can make it faster then we'll find out what rating we end up with all right so i did what i could guys i've ended up with the 84 rated team with 45 chemistry probably could have been able to make this slightly better but these are the pace stats on the players we have in the starting 11 with neymar 92 Bamiyan with 97 would have wanted the inform but you didn't get him Ronaldo the 95 pace but Larabi with the 90 Velassi 89 Conor Plianka 92 with Venano 89 pace Alaba 92 Reed 74 which is a bit of a downer Alves 86 and finally Handonovic with 91 diving anyways we're gonna pick the manager now let's complete the team and yeah let's see what happens who would be the best choice here Okay, he only links with Ronaldo. Wenger might have to be the best choice here. So yeah, I'm gonna go for Wenger and let's have a look at the team rating slash team chemistry. Pretty bad, I know. 132. That's definitely the lowest I've ever gotten on this game. Well, that said, I'm quickly gonna jump onto another foot draft and let's see if we can get an even faster foot draft. Right, one of the next foot draft now. These are the formations we've been given with the 343 flat, which always seems to be the best one when you're going for higher rated teams few other decent formations in there but i think i'm going to go with the 343 flat for this one and in this foot draft i'm going to be trying to create the fastest foot draft with 100 chem or as close to 100 chem as i can get so i'll actually be trying to link up players whilst also trying to get the pace up if that makes sense anyway with that said let's quickly get into this and let's see what we can do hopefully we get a team of the year this time and whoa we don't get a team of the year but we have a legend and for the fact that i have to get chemistry up on this draft i might just have to go with the legend i know quadrado is faster but on this one we're not just trying to go for the fastest player on each section we're trying to boost the chemistry of the team up as well so we're gonna throw in the legend in there i mean there's no way i could not throw in a legend in a team like this right next to him who am i gonna go for Okay, Yaya Torre seems to be the fastest here. I mean, he's not a bad player. He's a freaking beast as well. That 86 physical is insane on him. So we're going to go for him. We're going to jump straight to the wingers and hope to get a team of the year player here. And we don't. I mean, we've got 91 pace to pay there. And we've also got 92 Ronaldo. I mean, what I'm going to do here to try be smart is go for the 92 pace Neymar in the hope that eventually we get a team of the year Ronaldo. Because I'm not going to lie, guys, that would just be insane. Moving on to the right wing, I probably should have went straight to the strikers. We have, well, standard players, I guess. We've got the Liga BBVA players in there. It's about getting the pace up. I'm going to try keep it above 80 pace. So I'm going to have to go for Flacking. Everyone else is just so slow. So I'm going to have to go for him whether I like it or not. Onto the striker. Please give me a Suarez or something. Oh, okay. We got Sheryl. He's got 90 pace on him. This now makes me feel like I should have got Rice. Because that would have been a pretty insane link to be fair. But yeah, Sheryl get onto the team. Links with the legend. So that's not too bad. Then onto the left mid. Please give me... It's not giving me team of the year Ronaldo. But... If I get Douglas Costa, I can swap him around with Neymar and then he's got a link to Sheryl. 
think that's probably the best thing to do he's not the fastest moose is the fastest but we're trying to build up the chemistry here so i'm gonna have to go for douglas costa swap him around with neymar and i think that slightly takes the chemistry up onto the right mid let's see who we get well oh what we've got two m forms that's never really happened to me before bit of a shocker but aldosori looks like the fastest here like i said before i'm trying to take the chemistry up if i take aldosori i don't know who the heck i'm gonna get to link up with him so i'm gonna have to go with kappa hashtag kappa why the heck did i see that i don't know but we've got kappa as a right mid first center mid our centre back, I don't know what I'm talking about, who we go, oh we're getting Alaba here, in form Alaba is definitely a solid centre back, also the fastest there, so yeah it's someone I'm going to have to go for, I can't really not pick him, I want to put him there but yeah I have to pick a player there before I can do that, who are we getting as a centre back, so we are Bartra Golden, Golden's high rated, Bartra is slightly faster, we're going for the pace here, so I'm gonna go with Bartra whether I like it or not, I really don't have a choice here. And uh, onto the middle centre back when I eventually get there, let's see who we get here. So we've got Varane, and Varane seems to be the fastest there, so we're getting ourselves the first orange card of the team. I'm actually liking the look at this, definitely not gonna turn down Varane, Varane is a cast player, so get in the team Varane, and finally finishes off with the goalkeeper. Our options are Kameni, Mandanda, Horn, Trap, Leno. Kameni is going to build up the chemistry because we want the chemistry to skyrocket. So Kameni has to be in the team. So yeah, welcome to the team, man. And before we do anything on the bench, we're currently on 85 rating, 80 chemistry. Getting closer and closer to that 100 chemistry mark. Hopefully we can get some team of the year players in the bench now. Let's see how this plays out. Starting off with the first bench position we get some pretty decent keepers here so i'm gonna pick mandanda probably won't end up using him next position can we get a team of the year no we cannot we have right backs in there but we don't really need right backs to be fair because we don't have any right backs in the formation i'm gonna go with carbonyal because i know he will link to the spanish players come on give us a team of the year that is all i ask okay we get a golden thrown in there but it's about pace like i said before so matthew is faster which is which is fairly annoying so i'm actually gonna have to go with matthew just because of the pace and chemistry link so welcome to the team matthew next to him who can we go for um there's no one we really want here i don't think muller will link with no one unless i move aloba in that right mid position so yeah i'm gonna have to go with muller he's not the fastest but he will slightly help with chemistry so muller get there i hope this doesn't drop my chemistry if it does i'm changing things around uh okay the chemistry is up to 83 this is okay it actually helped muller took my chemistry up quickly swap that round chemistry is up by 12 wow next player who can we get ourselves here so we have players like oscar is going there cry Warship propping up again i mean who could i go for here oscar ain't gonna link with anyone Cry Warshak, gonna leave the BVVA. He always gets a link. He will link with, I think, Neymar, the legend, and Varane. So, might have to go with him. Isco is a cam. I think he's the fastest. No, Gaitan is the fastest but Isco looks like the fastest league BVVA player to give us cam. So, with that said, might have to go with Isco. Not really defensive, but for the reason that he gets links. We have to go with Isco. Next position, who can we get? Oh, yes! Oh, I was waiting for that. I was waiting to get that first team of the year player. And we get team of the year Ronaldo. The fastest player on the team so far with 98 pace. Still not the fastest. We want 99 Messi. Our man of the match, Aubameyang. So hopefully we can get one of them. But I'm not disappointed with the 98 pace team of the year Ronaldo. He's definitely going to make it into the team somewhere. I mean, I'll probably have to put him... Damn it, the chemistry drops when I put him in. This is actually a little bit frustrating. But when I do this, I think everything seems to be slightly alright. Might try Douglas Costa here. Okay, chemistry goes up. Things are looking kind of fine at the moment. We just need a team the year messy and we'll probably get out of this alright. None of these players really link, but this guy Sanchez, I've used his normal card, I've even used this in form and he's a beast in game, for that reason he's making it to the team. Next position, who do we have, I mean, um, uh, Kagawa looks like the only player that will link with someone here, 80 pace as well, 
So yeah, definitely going to throw him on the bench. Can we get that team of the year Messi though? That's what I'm looking for and hoping for right now. 78 pace. And I think he's the only guy who would actually link with anyone in the league of BVVA. Since we're trying to hit 100 chemistry, I'm going to have to throw him in in case he can help with the team in some way. Next position, we have Gil. <laughs> I don't know why he's the first player I saw, but he is. Fastest player here is a turbo with 92 pace. Might have to pick him. I don't want to, but I have to. Like, he's the fastest and I might be able to do something with him because I know there's another Roma player in there so they might be able to link up somewhere who are we getting now oh we've got Orange Depay with the 91 pace okay I'm liking the look of that he seems to be the fastest Bruno uh, Bruno has got 59 pace I mean I could throw him into the team because of chemistry links but he's below 80 pace like way 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 below 80 pace I can't put him in a pace team not even in the bench gonna have to be to pay here and to finish this off we're gonna go on to our last player and oh we've got morales with 87 pace he fits into the team so it's gonna have to be him and that is the team pretty much completed i'm gonna change things around try get it to 100 chemistry and i'll see you guys in a second so i switched up the team a bit so we could get that 100 chemistry and we did we now have 84 rating and this is the team we're rocking i'm probably gonna have to sub on a few players and as you can see on the bench we have pacey players pretty much everywhere i mean even the goalkeeper's got 90 diving with aloba there with 87 pieces of center back i really need to bring this guy on douglas costa depay shirler sanchez a turbine op looking bench right there i'm gonna have to finish off the team so let's pick a manager and let's see who we get here we have no one in the Bundesliga, so even if I wanted to make the changes with especially Alaba on the bench, I can't really do much. It's gonna have to be Mourinho because he gets two links with players on the team. So yeah, welcome to the team Mourinho. We finish off with a 184 rating, which isn't too bad, but could have been a lot better. Considering we're trying to get fast players for this team, this isn't too bad. This is actually pretty decent. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more foot draft videos like this, this is probably gonna be a bit of a long a video as well if you want to see longer videos from me make sure to drop a like i'm also looking on doing more foot draft videos in the future if you tell me in the comment sections that you want it just put i want more foot draft videos and if i see a lot of you comment that it will happen in the near future as for this video if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any of my future content and yeah for today this is tmac signing out thanks for watching guys and see ya <laughs> This is the end of the video, hi. If you enjoy, just comment and subscribe. Wanna see more? Don't forget to leave a like. Do it! <laughs> this is T Max signing out.